Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Mayna Shukla and watching your tech and coding channel My Code Works. So guys, in this video, we are going to learn about the folder structure or file structure of Spring Boot project. In previous video, we saw how to create a Spring Boot project in two different ways using VS Code and Inslicer. But now we are going to learn about the files that got generated while creating a Spring Boot uh, project, right? So let's start with the things. So I have already opened one project, Spring Boot project in my system that I created earlier in the VS Code. And here is the normal that get uh, files, whatever get generated automatically when we create a Spring Boot. This is a normal, uh, I mean, it's a just a default project files that get automatically generated when we create any Spring Boot project. Okay, if you see here, lot of files are there and folder structures are there. So this is a uh, general, as you can say, general folder structure for Spring Boot. The first thing is you have to go through from downside is pom.xml. So pom.xml is basically uh, which will contain all the configuration related things, all the details of that particular project while creating any project. As you can see here, we have the particular uh, group ID and artifact ID, snapshot, which is which kind of version it is, which is the initial version or later on for versioning, we are going to use this one and the na uh, application name, everything is mentioned here. Uh, and after that, we, if you go to that, uh, which Java version this application is using, this uh, application is using 1.8 JDK 8 actually, and the dependencies that needed to run this particular application. So these are the dependencies here. And after that, which kind of build we are going to, we are going to use a Maven build, right? So definitely uh, we have all, while, while creating a Spring Boot application, we selected as a Maven, not Gradle, right? So if you are selecting Maven build type project, then we'll get the application dot properties. If you are selecting Gradle as a build, team, build tool, then we'll get the application dot YML, okay? So this is the pom.xml, which is the default, uh, which is get, uh, getting generated default when we create any uh, Spring Boot, okay? So which contain all the details. Now let's move to and one more thing, if you want to add any extra library or dependencies, just simply we have to go Maven repository. I will tell you how to add repositories when we have already pom.xml in next video. But as of now, I will just going through the folder structure and we'll learn in next video. Okay. So this is dot uh, Maven w dot command. Uh, this is not uh, required for us as of now to know. And uh, we'll see. But the next one is. Maven W, this is the cell script file which get generated automatically. And for as of now, we are also not going to see about this. Later on, if needed, we'll see about this. It will basically uh, check the like set the Java where actually Java is there and everything, whatever needed for a particular project, it will set. So these two as of now we can ignore. Now let's move to uh, these two files. These two files also you can ignore. Get ignore basically tells that while pushing our changes while committing our changes if we are pushing your code uh, whatever commit you have done in the repository like bitbucket or github then what are the things need to be neglected like it will ignore the things like which file uh, which folder which dot uh, extension whatever it is it will ignore whatever we mention here it will ignore and it will pick the remaining thing right so as you can see here if you want to things that uh, need to be ignored while committing you can put it here easily okay let's move to the next one target so target i will uh, come to this folder but before that let's move to main thing src if you go to inside src i will just uh, little zoom zoom in i will do just zoom in and after that in in src right we have main main folder and another one is test folder okay so i will go through this main one first inside main there is a java and resources so if you go inside java you will get this folder structure where we have one dot java file okay this dot java file i will just zoom out so this dot java uh, demo api application dot java file is the entry point of this whole spring boot application because in order to run any java application we need a main method so here it is written the main method is written and uh, if we are not, if we are removing this Spring Boot application tag from here or annotation from here, then it will act as a normal uh, Java. But if you are adding this one Spring Boot application tag here, then it will act as a Spring Boot application and will will be able to run as a Spring Boot. So this is the file that will be an entry point for the application. 
and if you want to do any configuration related thing you can also do it here and or separately you can create a folder structure and you can create a config.file and after that you can add the things which we'll learn in upcoming sessions as of now we are not going to touch i am just explaining the things about the folder structure and file that we get while generating application okay now let's move to resource one and if you go inside resource there is two type one is static another one resource or uh, templates so if you're developing any uh, um, uh, mbc project spring mbc uh, now mbc means view where we are going to get as a view as a uh, html right so at the time we need uh, html templates or front-end templates needed and there will be if we are going to use front-end definitely we need uh, some static files static in the sense java js dot css or dot uh, fund or whatever font is and dot images right these are the some static files needed to uh, show these on the ui so in that case we are going to use these two folders so if you are creating a spring mbc application we are going to use these two folders else we are going to skip these two okay i will also create a spring boot uh, spring mbc based uh, project so that we can have a good understanding about these things now let's move to application the, the main uh, the main uh, we can say heart of this application is uh, whole project is the application dot properties where we'll mention all the properties related uh, for required for this uh, project so if you want to set uh, configuration for database you can set it here if you want to set the port where my application will run you can set it here we'll talk about all these things while uh, going through the project and creating a project for us right at the time we need everything and we'll add all the data all the code whatever properties needed we'll add it in inside this one and i will explain one by one so this template file a folder will be empty static will be empty so static is for static files dot js dot css dot uh, image whatever it is and uh, up after this fund files also if it is there then you can put it here and dot uh, html whatever files we have then we can put inside templates dot jsp also you can put inside templates okay so these two folder I have explained and this application dot properties also explained and let's move to the next one is test okay so when we are creating any feature we need to test it right so in order to test the application we have test a separate we have a, like in order to run uh, create the application we have Java this folder and testing the same feature we have test method inside the test folder inside that same SRC source for uh, folder right so if you see here spring boot they have already annotated this uh, particular class with spring boot test which is uh, act as a we have to run the test here so if you want to make any method as a test then we can annotate with that at the rate test okay so we'll also see and this is going to use JUnit api testing and all whatever i mean j unit we are going to use for testing for unit testing we'll see how to do uh, api testing unit j using ga unit and everything we'll see okay so this is all about and if you talk about the target one there we have classes and test classes okay so classes basically contains all the compiled classes of this main dot uh, java one i mean uh, this java folder or whatever dot java file will be there inside it will be get compiled and it will be stored get stored inside this uh, classes and if you talk about this uh, test classes means whatever java file is there inside uh, test folder it will get compiled and it will get stored inside this test classes i think you have understood the project project uh, folder structure everything and if still you have any doubt let me know in comment section i will try to help you out thanks for watching my videos and we'll meet in next video let bye bye